everyone, this is uh, Commissioner Tom, and I uh, thought I'd get in on the uh, favorite points uh, video that Alabama Headhunters had suggested. Um, these are some of the some of my favorite finds that I've had over the uh, over the probably close to 30 years I've been collecting artifacts. Um, this first one, I would call this um, a cash blade. Um, it is uh, everything I've seen in um, some of the artifact identification guides um, says that that's what this is. I was actually I found this right next to a farm lane. It was it was in the plowed part of the field, but probably two feet off of the um, driveway that went up to the house. Kind of a neat piece big, pretty finely chipped. I love this point. Um, yeah, I guess you'd call this a big sandy. We call them archaic side notch points. But I don't know why I like this one so much. It's obviously been resharpened um, a couple of times, but is just perfectly symmetrical. Got those big classic notches, ground base. Even got some serration on the edges there. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually translucent. Yeah, I guess you can see that there around the edges. Again, that's probably one of my favorite finds. This point um, was actually a point that I did not find personally. Um, a coworker of mine found it um, and gave it to me. It's Again, probably been retouched here. Um, I, I can't quite type this point. You know, it's obviously a corner notch point, an archaic corner notch point. And if you look at the flaking, you see kind of that classic, um, very old flaking, almost uh, early paleo points close to four inches long, which we don't find a whole lot of um, complete points that size, uh, at least not a lot around here. So I don't know if this one counts because I didn't find it, but um, I don't have anything else like it in my collection. Um, I have points like this, but nothing of that size for that style. This is a blade that I found. Um, and again, I don't know if I'd necessarily consider that a preform because it is as thin a point as you can find. Typical Coshocton flint. I think the reason I like, I found this in a field that was very sandy, which may have to do with, you know, why it's not broken up, but it's amazing that the plow missed that for that many years, because again, it's just paper thin, and, and it's got some real good size on it. This is a uh, very nice example of a stemmed lancelet. A 
again, real typical of the type of flint that we find with um, some of these you know, late um, paleo, early archaic type of points. Got kind of a some sort of a flaw there. And then, um, last but not least, there is the uh, only whole dovetail uh, that I've ever found, St. Charles, I guess, point. Um, this would also be my entry into the uh, show us your G10 point. just as nice as they come. I found this um, walking a field with somebody that had invited me to um, look with them. Uh, an older gentleman. I may talk about him a little bit more in some of my um, future videos here when I show some more of my collection. But uh, besides my dad, he was one of the people that I was instrumental in getting me interested in uh, in this hobby. He squawked a little bit when I picked that up, but I think I think he actually felt pretty happy for me. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing those pieces as much as I enjoyed getting them back out of the cases and taking a close look at them. I bet I haven't had my hands on this one in in 20 years and uh, so again it's just nice to kind of get them out and look at them again. Alright, well this is Commissioner Tom signing off.